Hello there folks and thanks for joining me. I know it's been a long long time since I've had a video out but I've been trying to get as much fishing in as possible and this and that goes on and but I finally got a chance here to uh, sit down and tie up a fly for you and this particular fly is called the uh, brown bomber it's a little wet fly pattern uh, one of my favorite books uh, flies the best 1000 and I thought it was a very interesting looking little wet fly and I thought you might like to come along while I tie this one and you could also tie a few yourself and give them a try so we'll get this little guy the vise here and a fresh hook in and I'll get started for you and the hook of choice is a 3906B and I'm tying it on a size 12 here you can tie it from a size largest to size 4 down to a 12 it recommends 12 for the smallest so I'm going on the smallest side here Get that locked in the vise, and I'm using Danville 6 aught black for thread here. Before we get started with our thread base, it's a way to fly, and I have some 0.15 lead wire here, and I'm going to put about probably 10 or 12 wraps in the middle of the shank here, so we'll get that done first. Okay, get that on there. And I'm just going to come up around and snip the other end off. There we go. Pinch those together tight, and that's about in the middle of the shank. Okay, so now we'll just take our thread here and start our thread base in front of the lid. Build a little small dam here, like always. Alrighty. And then we'll jump on top of that lid and work back. And go forward once again. I'll get rid of this tag in the thread. And we'll come back. And we'll build a little dam up behind the uh, lid as well. Just so we got a pretty good transition there. We tie in our tail. Alrighty. There's that. Now, the tail is simple. It's just plain uh, red hackle barbels here. So just any old red saddle hackle or flopping, whichever you have. Just some red fibers. And we just get like a medium sized tail on this guy. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact how many fibers you get, it's just what you think looks good here. And I'm going to place that on top, pinch it down, and make a few snug wraps there. Snip off the excess here. Alright, secure that down well. Alright, now. This particular fly here has three seconds of chenille, and I'm using some micro ultra fine black chenille, or you can, a small would work as well. But uh, you can use the larger sizes, of course, for larger the larger size fly. And I'm going to catch that underneath here, back towards the tail, and just wrap that in nice and tight. All right, so we're only going to make about two wraps, maybe three here for the first section. And we'll get three wraps. Tie that off. A couple wraps behind it. And work in front. A couple more behind. One. Just so it's in there nice and tight. Trim off the excess. Alrighty, so now comes our first hackle for the fly. And I'm just using a... You don't have to use an expensive cape. These little cheap Chinese capes here work just fine and they're not they're not expensive but they, they work great for these wet flies and I got my first tack already so I'll tie that in by the uh, stem here dull side facing rearward all right and I'll grab my hackle pliers and you want to make around two to three wraps for each each hackle here on this fly so get one and come around one more wrap here just like so tie that off get the thread tension there pull nice and tight wrap it down secure snip off the tip all right so there's our first tackle now i'll grab that chenille again and i'll catch that underneath once again same way as the first Right back towards our hackle, then forward. Alright, so now we're going to wrap that. 
And I'm just going to pull back on that hackle slightly as I make my first wrap. So I want that hackle to be swept back a little bit, as you can see. Just like so there. And we'll make about three wraps this time as well. And we'll come up. Tie off. Okay, keep tension on my thread here. Regain the tension nice and snug. Tie that off and snip the axis. And I just got a few hackle barbels trapped out of there. I want to get loosened up here under the chenille. Just bear with me, folks. There we go. Alrighty, so same thing once again. We'll take another hackle here. Tie it in. Same way, concave side facing rearward. Tie the stem down well. Trim the excess. And we'll wrap the sky too three times once again okay come down around okay I'll get a little better grip on them there folks there we go one wrap and two wraps uh, we'll go three on this guy well maybe I shouldn't have a hack of pliers slipped on me I'm gonna switch pliers here folks bear with me all right Okay, it's been a while since I've done a video, so things aren't going to go quite that smooth, that's for sure. Okay, got that tied down, so we'll make a few securing wraps. Cut off the tip. Alright, secure that in well, wrap back couple there trapped I want to trim out now we'll grab our chenille again it's the last section of chenille here and we'll tie that and catch it in underneath same way wrap back to in front of our hackle here then forward once again okay and we'll wrap back on that hackle as well just like so I'm going to back that off. I just don't like the looks of my first wrap. There we go. That's better. Now we'll tie this chenille off. Same as the previous sections. And we'll snip off the excess once again. Nice and close. Alright. Now we'll tie in our last tackle here, folks. Another one ready. And tie that in the same manner. Right back, tie that tip down well. Or uh, stem rather, trim. Then we'll wrap the sky as well, bring them down around. And two to three turns on this one as well. So I'll probably only get two here at the front. Okay, so I'll bring that up around like so. Catch it in. Come around with good thread tension. Couple wraps in front. Trim off the tip like so. Okay, so this time I'm going to take everything with my two fingers here, thumb and forefinger, and. Sweep everything back and just start to build the head on them. Taking wraps rearward towards the back. Covering up those butt ends. And just forming a nice little head on them here. Okay. That's fine. And there we have it. There's another size 12 brown bomber wet fly. All we got left to do is bring in the whip finisher. Get a 4 or 5 turn whip on them. Here, folks. Alrighty. Okay, that should be fine. Okay. There we go. Whoops, I caught a few fibers there on my whip, but that's okay. I can fix that, no problem, folks. We're just gonna bring my thread back around, wrap right back over those, and do another whip finish. No big deal. Alrighty, get three or four turns. 
There we go. That was no, not a big problem to fix. Okay. S cut or snip off your thread here. And there he is. Done deal. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of solar as bone dry and put on those thread wraps there to secure them. It's definitely a different little wet fly for sure. And if you have the materials and the give some of these a try for sure. Okay, let's have them with the light here to finish them up. Doesn't take long for this bone dry to cure, so just a few seconds there is fine. And there we go. And I'm going to try to definitely get videos out sooner, quicker this time if I can, so. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my videos before and this is the first time seeing one of my flies, if you'd like to see more, you know what to do. Just hit that good old subscribe button there and the little bell. And if you have any comments, put them down below because I always read each and every one of them and uh, appreciate your thoughts. And uh, like I always say, uh, happy tying out there and uh, and I'll see you all again soon and uh, so long for now folks.